All right, everyone, it is time for the 2022 New York City Marathon. This 26.2 mile stop is one of the world's premier road races. And on this day, an estimated 50,000 athletes took to the streets for a shot at a new personal best. But one of the biggest factors potentially preventing a new fast time was the temperature on race day, as this marathon was one of the hottest New York City marathons to date. Historically speaking, the average temperature is around 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. However, for today's marathon, the start of the race was at 70 degrees, which is much higher than ideal racing conditions. Regardless of the above average temperature at the start, this marathon was full of many of the world's greatest endurance athletes, including four women with PRs under two hours and 20 minutes, and five men with PRs under two hours and six minutes, a very fast field indeed. A few other notable runners in this race included Helen O'Beary from Kenya making her marathon debut, Galen Rupp from the United States looking to continue his decorated career, and we also have Scott Fobble, Abdi Abdirahman, Leonard Career, and Shadrach Kipchirchir, who is also making his marathon debut here. To kick off the opening stage of this NYC marathon, we of course have the iconic opening uphill mile, crossing over the Verrazano Narrows Bridge connecting Staten Island and Brooklyn. This is a pretty brutal way to start off any marathon race, but even during an uphill start, this professional field was already flying. Now on the women's race, we saw a very early breakaway from Des Linden of the United States, who was course the 2018 Boston Marathon champion, winning in basically typhoon weather conditions. This was a strong opening move, and it came just after the opening 10 kilometers, which the field passed through in 34 minutes and 25 seconds, a very quick pace that represents a speed of 532 per mile, or 326 per kilometer. Now, this early move was certainly a bold push up front, as this field was full of many previous Olympic medalists, but what was even more shocking was what was happening on the men's side. With a massive lead over the opening few miles, Daniel de Nascimento from Brazil was commanding this race like a boss. Now, an early move like this usually spells disaster for any runner, but de Nascimento also threw down a 2.04.51 earlier this season, which actually makes him the fastest non-African-born marathoner to ever compete. Now, this lead was already huge, as you could barely even see anyone behind him at this point. However, what was truly unprecedented was that at this early stage, he threw down a 4 minute and 20 second mile, which is still an unofficial split as of right now. But if this is true, this would be the single fastest mile split in Marathon Majors history, just ahead of Amos Kipruto's 4 minute and 21 second mile that he ran earlier this season in London. This Brazilian was on a mission up front at this point. I mean, he was absolutely flying. And even though he was going super quick, he actually looked pretty solid at this pace. However, this is the marathon, so he still had more than 20 miles left to run. Back over to the women's side, the chase pack pretty quickly caught Des Linden in the lead. And now with a strong lead contingent of about 15 runners, it was anyone's guess as to who would ultimately come out on top. At the halfway point, the women hit a split of 1 hour, 12 minutes, and 17 seconds, which comes out to a pace of 5.30 per mile, or 3.25 per kilometer. This means that the pace had actually increased slightly since the opening 10k, and now the lead field was about half the size that it was over the opening 10 kilometers. Back over to the men's race, for their opening half marathon split, Danashimiento was still absolutely crushing it, now holding a lead of over two entire minutes. This man was looking very strong to this point, and the prospects of winning were actually getting more and more real with each passing mile, and with an opening half marathon of 1 hour, 1 minute, and 22 seconds, he was on pace to smash the course record. But the real question was, could he pull off this victory and win in one of the most dramatic ways that we have ever seen? Now for the women's race, it quickly became a four-person competition, with Helen O'Beary, Gatotem Gebersalasi, Lona Salpeter, and Sharon Lochetti running very strong up front. With just over five kilometers left, this lead pack of four had dropped their pace down to 5.28 per mile, and if they could run at around five minutes and 20 seconds per mile for this closing stage, they could potentially attack the course record, which stands at two hours, 22 minutes, and 31 seconds, set by Margaret Akeo back in 2003. This women's race was shaping up to be an absolute burner down the home stretch, but over on the men's side, something entirely different just went down. 
Just after the 21st mile, Daniel de Nascimento finally hit the wall, and when he hit it, he hit it hard. Before the camera operators even knew that he was in pain, he was already on the ground, probably suffering from dehydration and some kind of muscle cramping. In the blink of an eye, Evans Chabet, a two-hour and three-minute marathoner, blew by a suffering denascimento, and even though his opening 20 miles was quite incredible, he was now officially out of this race. At this point in the race, it was Chabet's race to lose, so could anyone catch him over the final 10K? Now, for the closing stage of the women's race, over the final mile, Sharon Lokade, during her marathon debut, dropped Lona Salpeter, a two-hour and 17-minute marathoner, and pushed forward with an incredible final few kilometers. Over these final stages, we saw Salpeter hold on with all that she had, attempting to make a comeback with a super quick finish. But ultimately, Sharon Lokady was uncatchable here, as she placed first with a time of 2 hours, 23 minutes, and 23 seconds, one of the fastest women's times in New York history. Finishing in second was Lona Salpeter in 2.23.30, and finishing in third was Gotitam Gabrselassie in 2 hours, 23 minutes, and 39 seconds. This was a very competitive and very fast race on the women's side, and you would not have known that this race was done during warm conditions when looking at the times. Now for the men's finish, we saw Evans Chabet holding his form very well over the final miles. However, Shura Katata, the 2020 London Marathon champion, was closing very fast. With the amount that Katata had closed over these final few kilometers, it seemed as though he would quickly catch Chabet up front. However, Chabet is one of the top 10 fastest marathoners of all time, and he showed his true class in this race, finishing very strong with a time of 2 hours, 8 minutes, and 41 seconds, beating Shura Katata in 2.08.54, and he also beat the third place finisher, Abdi Nagie, in 2 hours, 10 minutes, and 31 seconds. Now, a few other notable finishers on the women's side include Edna Kiplagat in 4th, Helen O'Beary in 6th, and Alephine Tuliamak and Emma Bates in 7th and 8th, respectively. And a few other top finishers on the men's side include Sugaru Asako in 5th, Albert Career in 7th, Scott Fobble in 8th, and Reed Fisher in 10th place. The 2022 New York City Marathon certainly did not disappoint. From the incredibly quick mile splits to the dramatic finishes on both ends, the world's best showed up to run today. And with two more very fast champions now in the record books, this classic NYC marathon once again brought out some of the best competitors in the world. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.